Welcome back to BDN. I'm Eli Hodge. And I'm Noah Weiss. Today is Wednesday, March 15th, and we have student information, sports updates, and more. This is your Blue Devil News. Prom ticket prices have officially been raised. They are now $65. Prices will be raised once more at the end of this month, so be sure to purchase your ticket now. Beta Club and NHS are going to be hosting a book donation drive starting later this week. They are collecting books for a nonprofit called Bookum. Bookum's mission is to create a more literate Nashville and spark kids' passion for reading through book ownership and ready to read volunteers. Students may bring books to participating teachers. Miss Ossip's Digital Art and Design 2 class is offering design services for clubs, sports, or other organizations in need. Email Miss Ossip with any requests for flyers, posters, or other graphics. Remember, teachers, do not send a student without a life threatening health issue to the nurse without filling out a nurse request form. This is for privacy and safety concerns. Thank you. The University of Tennessee's Special Education Program is now accepting applications for new teachers to begin coursework on July 1, 2023. HOSA will be hosting their annual blood drive on March 22nd from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Little Gym. If students want to donate to the drive, they must be at least 17 years old, 110 pounds, and show a valid form of ID. So come out and donate if you can. Those are your announcements for today. We will be back with news after this break. Hey, what's up, LHS? I'm Kylan. Today with the news, it is currently 38 degrees outside. There's going to be a high of 56 and a low of 32. It's going to be cold outside today, nevertheless, so make sure to bundle up. We're trying to spell things. Oh, God. I know, I'm terrible. Welcome back to Spelling Bee. I'm Charlie May, and today I'm here with Bailey. Okay, so I'm here with Coach Southworth. Okay, so this is Trey, and can you spell incompetent? Uh, I am. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so good. I-N-C-O-P. I-N-C-O-M-P. Yes. E-E-N-E-T. Incompetent. E. Well, you forgot a letter. You had C-O. C-O. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I-E? Yes. R. C? Uh-huh. O-M? Uh-huh. Right. E? T? Uh... R? No. T? No. Oh, no, no, no. T, E, and T. Yes. Yeah, okay. of course. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Characteristic. C, H, A, R? Yes. I? No. Carrick? C-I. <laughs> All right, uh, C-H-A-R-A-C. A. No. C-H-A-R-A. I, S-D. No. The I, right? No. <laughs> Character. D-R. <laughs> and then no, the I, S-D. Mm -hmm. And then characteristic. That's it. Char you have characteristic. Oh, T. No. S T. No. What? Care A. <laughs> yes. C. Yes. T. Yes. E R. Yes. I. Yes. S. Yes. T. Yes. I. Yes. C. Yes. Go. C T E R I S T I C. Correct. Okay, now hypothesis. H Y P O T H E S I S. Correct. Okay. Those scientists better check their hypotenuses. <laughs> H Y. Yes. P O T H. Mm hmm. E S I S. Yes, correct. Yeah. Let's go. Bingo said.
I'm Charlie May Hasten, and this is your sports update. Baseball has their third game in the Murfreesboro Grand Slam against Beach at 6.30 tonight. Softball played Laverne on Monday and won by the run rule in just three innings, 17-2. Great job, ladies. Tennis won their meet on Monday against Macon County and play Greenbrier at home tomorrow. The soccer team tied on Monday 1-1 against Riverdale, and last night they dominated the Purple Tigers 8-0, including a hat trick from Jesse Garduno. They will be back in action on Friday at 6 o'clock against Gallatin. The Predators beat the Red Wings 2-1 last night, and they play again tomorrow in Chicago at 7 o'clock. And the Memphis Grizzlies also won 104-88 to against the, Ma the Mavericks. They'll play again in Miami at 6.30 tonight. That's all I have. Back to y'all. In local news, the Wilson County School Board held a policy meeting last night. They agreed to provide Narcan and EviPens in our schools. The goal is for all Wilson County school nurses and anyone who volunteers to be trained on how to administer Narcan and EviPens. All Wilson County schools should have emergency medications in stock by the end of this school year. For global news, we are starting to see stocks tumble as bank fears consume markets. Recent inflation has stirred people up into talking about their views on social media, which led other people to withdraw a lot of money from their banks. That's all the news we have for today. I'm Eli. And I'm Noah. This has been the news to you from the white and blue.